Youth runner here at the 44th ASICS uh, Mount Carmel Invitational. Jack Bergeson from Ironwood Ridge in Arizona, 16-27-5. We always uh, kind of manifest Jack in our minds what that first victory is going to feel like. Yeah. <laughs> How does the reality match up to, uh, to the uh, to the aspiration? Dude, I feel like I haven't even processed it really. Like before this race, I was totally thinking like I want to win because I got third my freshman year, fourth last year. I was like, it was always on the bucket list, and this year I was like visualization totally was to win but like when I was actually in first like thinking I could do I was like this is this is awesome this is everything I ever dreamed of you know so one of many hopefully oh absolutely well, well you know it's like uh, well, you know, once you pull you once you get the lid off you yeah know, I know uh, it's just like it flows after yeah, that for sure I hope so <laughs> but I, I love you reflecting back uh, you know, on those performances because I because uh, yeah. I saw those you know, yeah uh, here the past two years yeah how much of a greater understanding do you feel like you have of this course now yeah, yeah after, after after a third time and just mm -hmm. kind of like you know where you need to be patient and respect it and where yeah. you can be really ambitious and go after it yeah for sure i think freshman year i definitely was a little too ambitious i was like totally up with the front and like the mile i and i got ambitious after the hill and i went in the lead but i i don't think i quite had the fitness for that and then last year i was not ambitious enough that first mile and i kind of hung back and it didn't allow me to, I was never really in the race. Yeah. So this year I think I kind of had the fitness to go out in the front and then keep it. So I try to stay right behind the leaders and then attack up the hill, attack down and just got in the lead. And I didn't know if I could keep it, but it worked out. So. You did. Really Obviously, uh, you, you, uh, your teammates were giving you, you know, some, you, uh, some, some good natured you know, ribbing about don't look back, don't look back, don't yeah. look back. But the, uh, but the yeah. fact that, uh, that that Edgar Gomez is there, obviously a guy that you know from you know, uh, from, uh, from from Greenway. Yeah, like, from Greenway does, yeah. uh, I mean, again, nothing nothing but respect for for Edgar. Not, you know, nothing yeah. but respect for the rest of the field. But like yeah. when, when at least when because obviously when you come here, Jack, and if you're racing against guys from San Diego yeah. or from any other part of California, may, it might be the first time that you know that you're ever around yeah. him. Or someone like Edgar, it's you like don't know what to expect. Yeah, at least there's a little bit more familiarity there. Like yeah. Uh, uh, did, did that did that give you uh, you know any extra optimism a little bit i think i i don't know i think the reason i was looking back so much is i was just like is this really happening like i'm in the lead i just didn't i was just doubting myself to be honest which obviously hopefully in the future i can not doubt myself as much but i was talking with Caius laster from you know cibola and you know and, uh, and hank Dill with, uh, from from liberty other arizona winners yeah. today along with you and said like obviously twilight is you know is is less than a week away, yeah. uh, but I I also look at this as being uh, a, a really awesome simulation uh, yeah. and, and you know a kind of fact finding mission to get you ready for Cave Creek. Yeah. You know, obviously for the, uh, for the state meet to be able to handle course, yeah. handle the hills here. Yeah, yeah. You know, n you know, know that you're gonna have the strength to be able to do yeah. that in early November at, at Cave Creek. How beneficial is that for you? I think it's really beneficial. Like coming here to this course, I I don't even focus on time really. It's really just place, and that is huge in sectionals and stay. And then for Twilight, it's just like the the raw effort and just pushing it just gets me ready mentally for that. So like you said, you know, you're still processing it. Yeah. Obviously you'll have the opportunity to do so with your guys, you know, the entire trip yeah. home. But just to be able to have this now, you know, a, a, as a precursor to Twilight, like yeah. just what does that do to kind of ramp up the confidence and increase the belief? Dude, it's it's huge. Like, I mean, I was really hoping for the win because like I want to do big things. I want to run in college. You know, I really, I'm really ambitious with my goals and like I started to doubt myself though. I'm like, I know, I know I can compete. You put me against people and I, I'll go for the win. And I have the guts, and I think I proved that here today. So, yeah, it gives me huge confidence going into the rest of the season. Well, let's hope it carries itself all the way back across the border and, yeah, uh, and, sure. and, and back to training uh, next week. Uh, yeah. We will see him under the lights at Toka Sticks uh, in a week's time. But for now and forever, he is a champion at the 44th A6 uh, Mount Carmel Invitational. Uh, and it always uh, feels great that the very first time. You're always going to remember this one, Jack. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.